Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nicole here. Uh, so we have our oils and kaolin clay. I'm going to blend up that kaolin clay really quickly before we add our lye water solution. And I do apologize in advance that I am a little bit under the weather. I have a little bit, little bit of a cold. So I do apologize. But we are blending in our lye water solution. And we are going to blend that to a light trace just slightly past emulsion so basically what that means is that you don't want to have any of the oils sitting on top of your mixture and that just means that all of your oils are blended in with your lye water solution so our fragrance oil that we're going to be using is apples and oak from nature's garden candles The colorants that I'm using, uh, the yellows, are going to be from Nurture Soap. We have Firefly and Yellow Neon. And all of these will be linked in the description box below for this greenish blue teal color. We have the Klein Blue and Emerald Green. There is a this bright pink color, which is a mica that I had laying around. And then this one is Cosmic Carolyn Mica from TK Beach Training. And all of those will be linked in the description box below. So what I'm doing now is I'm pouring off the soap into my four containers. The majority of it I am doing the Cosmic Carolyn and the yellow. Because those are going to be the outside colors that you'll see here in a minute. And I'm just mixing them in by hand. And then right before I start pouring as well I'm going to add in the fragrance oil. The fragrance oil actually behaved very well. Um, this box here I got from Hobby Lobby actually, so it's just one of the little wooden boxes. Um, I got it for 40% off. Um, these little circles here I got from Lowe's in the plumbing section. So they're just little uh, connectors for uh, your plumbing your pipes, your PVC pipes. So you'll see in the next clip that I added a couple more of the pipes and rearranged them in a different order. I have two inch, an inch and a half, and an inch and a quarter, I do believe, in those uh, little couplings. So what I started to do here is I'm going to start pouring in each corner with a different color, and then I'm going to alternate colors to give it a better um, look. And so when you pour each color, it's going to kind of push the other colors out some. And I'm just going to continue pouring from the different corners and alternating the colors, the two colors, until I am out of the yellow in this pink. some of those couplings that I did make a little bit of a mess with the soap but that's not really too much of a big deal because that's going to be on the bottom so I will speed up the video here shortly and you'll be able to see me pour the rest of the yellow and the pink until we're done and then we'll come back and start the other two colors
so what I'm doing now is I'm going to start pouring the pink and the green colors in the pipes here in the center. I don't really have a specific way that I'm doing it, nor do I really know what I'm doing, to be completely honest. Uh, this is my first time ever doing this kind of technique, so it is completely new to me. And I am uh, completely unsure how it will turn out at this point while I'm pouring this. I am just hoping that it will turn out. Um, you have to wait to see for um, me to cut it towards the end of the video to see how it turned out. But I'm just going to continue to pour the alternating the pink and the green until we were have all of these filled up basically. Um, I didn't, I still had a little bit left over, but so I wasn't completely out. And you'll see in that one corner, the bottom corner there, that I almost overflowed it. So here I'm taking the pipes out. And I'm not really sure what was happening here. Um, it didn't turn out like I had seen it in other people's videos. So I'm thinking that maybe I should have waited a little bit longer for the soap to set up to take out the pipes. So what I decided to do is take whatever extra that I had and pour it kind of on top. We'll see here in a second. On top of the where they were, where the pipes were, in essence. So, I'm thinking that maybe I should have waited a little bit longer. Uh, next time I try it, I'm going to wait for this to just set up a little bit before I pull those pipes out. But like I said, this was my first time trying this, so... You know, that's the, that's the fun part about soap making is... You know, things, things don't always go... Things don't always go as you had hoped or had planned. And you hope that you still come out with a lovely end product. So here you're just going to see me finishing up pouring the rest of the soap what I have. Use this chopstick here and I'm going to just swirl it around and make sure that your swirling device whatever you decide to use to swirl is all the way down to the bottom of your mold so that way all of the soap gets uh, swirled around. I knocked my stand so I do apologize for that. But I'm just going to go through and Swirl around until I feel satisfied enough that I like this design. And like I said, I'm honestly very... At this point, I don't know how it's going to turn out. I feel like I've failed at this point. So you'll have to let me know what you guys think. And now, so I'm done. I'm satisfied with how... This turned out and I spray it with some rubbing alcohol, some 91% alcohol, and let it sit. I actually let this sit for 48 hours. So here it is again. There's a little bit of soda ash on there, but that's not too big of a deal. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pull uh, the soap out of the mold basically, and it's still pretty soft for it have been sitting for 48 hours. Um, I also do not have a slab mold cutter, so if any of you guys have a suggestion on which one I should get, leave me a comment down below. And I'm just measuring the width, and it's about an inch and a half long, um, in width, and I used about 60 ounces of oil. So here I'm just trying to measure, trying to figure out how I want to cut it, um, all those good things. The sides weren't completely straight, so I had to kind of figure something out. So I basically trimmed a quarter of an inch off of all four sides to give me sort of straight edges. Um, I tried to use, like you saw, here I tried to use the cake leveler, but that did not, that, you know, it did not work out at all. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get that in the uh, 
in the frame when I tried attempted to use it. So unfortunately you guys won't be able to see that. And then I had to use a knife. Which again was terrible because it was still so soft. And I accidentally squished the little corners with the knife trying to cut it. So definitely, I definitely need to get a slab cutter if I'm going to use this mold again. And so if any of you guys have any suggestion on which one I should get, because that's the, my biggest issue is I haven't figured out which one I want or what I need. Because I don't, why don't you do a, I don't sell a whole lot of soaps just yet and this is the first, um, this is the first slab mold I've ever done. So it's still, this is the first time I've done this slab mold. I usually do the loaves, so. And again, me just trying to figure out my math in my head and so I figured, finally figured out how thick I was going to cut uh, the two loaves so basically I'm just going to cut it in half because of how thick the um, how thick the slab came out so I decided on it was about seven inches so I decided to do it in half so three and a half inches and you'll see it. I'm just going to keep marking it all the way down so I get it semi straight because I have to use the knife so it's not going to be, it's probably not 100% straight, but I did my best. Once I got this slab cut in half, I let it sit for probably about another eight hours or so because I was just not quite sure how I wanted to cut it or what I was going to do and how or how I was going to cut it. So what I decided to do, I did test cut before this obviously so I wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing. So I took my little slider do doodad off of my cutter. So I have a little bit of extra room. I do believe this gives me about a two and a half inches, two and a half inch bar without that uh, guy on there. So that's basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the use the cutter without the guide and cut my loaves into about two and a half inch bars. I do believe two to three inches. And then we'll come back and I'll show you how I'm going to cut it once more down the middle. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my bars and I'm going to measure them with wise and make sure they're all the same. And then we're going to cut them in half. So what I'm doing is just making sure they're all the same so I can get them to be cut the same. So here you'll see me set, setting up the first cut. I'm just going to do this one because this one was slightly off from the rest of the bars. So I didn't want to have to put my guide on there and then readjust the guide again. So and I was pleasantly surprised when... I opened these up. They turned out beautifully on the inside. So here I am just putting my guide back on and I'm going to measure with the wire down to I believe it was three quarters of an inch because that was my bars were about an inch and a half wide so I wanted them to be half so it was about three quarters of an inch. So I'm just measuring that. My little markings on there are an inch and an inch and a quarter. So this is not a marking that I already had on my cutter. So you're going to just see. I'm going to tighten that up, make sure it's good. And we're going to cut one bar and see how it comes out. We're going to go ahead and cut the rest of the bars. 
Um, I do apologize if the audio is not that great on this video. I'm not sure why. It was being super sensitive and picking up all of the background noise. But if you liked my video, please like and subscribe and share my channel with any soap makers you have out there or anybody you know that just likes to watch soap being made. And as always guys, thank you so much for all of your support and I will see you in the next one.